what's going on guys today we're looking at the digger max is it worth getting but the uh thing is though i thought i was gonna do a t49 video but uh that got changed and i'm gonna be doing this tank instead and sorry for like videos recently been working with school and some other things just really haven't had time but i have been playing the game now i do have the t49 fully upgraded have been playing a, a lot of it i know how it works i just don't uh just want to play it more to um, get more good games out of it and play a little round with the derp gun and uh, stuff like that but anyways we're gonna be looking at one of the tier 6 tank stories in the game and uh, is it worth getting now this tank I don't remember how much it costs I think it's like 3200 um, I believe it's 3200 because it's 3750 um, it's um, kind of like a tier 6 stock stirring mill. Um, the gun on it is really good. Uh, other than that, I call it the uh, vacuum cleaner of doom. And uh, I'm only going to show one game. It's relatively short. I'll be doing more. See, the problem was is I recorded a lot of games this evening in this because I had a weird obsession of playing this. And I had... Um, quite a few games ranging from tier 6 to tier 8. Tier 8 game I still did good and uh, tier 6 game obviously I did really well. Uh, I'll show you how to play this, what you should do with it if you happen to get it and uh, a lot of people hate this tank because they think it's terrible and it is not. It just has a really bad armor but you're not supposed to try to fight up close with this. Alright, you look the gun um, 6.4 or 5 rounds a minute. You put the rammer Vent, well, not vents because uh, it's an open top. Never mind. You put um, rammer, gun lane drive, and probably binoculars because you're in a camp a lot in this tank. Um, but I don't, I don't have anything on it for whatever reason because I've been saving up money and I don't know what I'm gonna get back. Um, and uh, brothers in arms. The uh, gun penetration, as you see, is 169, which is fairly decent uh, at tier 6, and uh, 227 for APCR, which at tier 8, like, that's going to go through literally everything you come across. That's, like, tier 8 heavy tank gun penetration, and a lot of people don't realize that this tank does 300 damage alpha a shot, like standard, and it being a tier 6. Um, a lot of people think it's a, like a Nash horn, it only does like 200, but no, no, no. Name time's a little long, uh, the accuracy is fairly decent at 0.36, but as you can see in the replay that I'm going to show you, uh, doesn't seem to bother this tank too much. Now, this gun will troll you sometimes because 300's an iffy number at tier 6 if you think you're going to one shot that artillery or not. And, uh, it, I really think this is a pretty decent tank uh, if you use it correctly it can bring in a lot of money uh, I don't I don't think you really need to carry a lot of premium rounds the only reason I carry five and it's it doesn't have preferential matchmaking which kind of hurts this thing but then you look at the gun and uh, if it did have preferential matchmaking only saw tier 7 I would say definitely get it the fact that it doesn't have it and something like, you know, I can't think of it. I can't think of anything else at tier 6 tank destroyer that has, uh, because I know the Su 100 Y definitely doesn't. And, uh, there's other tier 6, uh, tanks that you could get for premiums. Uh, I mean, well, I don't know why I'm looking at the Americans. They don't have one, they don't either. Tier 6 for those. They don't, it's pretty. Which one am I looking at? This is the one I'm looking for. AT15A. That one has preferential matchmaking. It's, I'm pretty sure it does. I, I don't, I'm not going to buy it to find out because I really don't want it. But um, there's so many other tanks you could buy at Tier 6 that makes uh, this tank kind of kind of looked over. And not a lot of people realize it is actually a very decent tank and it has the gun depression of a god it's like 15 degrees or something like that so you can poke ridges it's not a slow tank either it returns fairly decent 
it's uh it's got 50 millimeters but that's still not gonna bounce anything and the camouflage rating is really good for it uh, I mean if you get Caminet, Minox, Gunlane Drive, or Rammer, you can sit somewhere all day and just hammer people, but, you know, not a lot of people are going to get this tank just to camp around and shoot people. Uh, now we're going to get right into the gameplay of, um, well, what I want to show you. Alright guys, now we're actually going to look at the game. Sorry about the weird transition thing. I can't. I'm, I'm not good at editing videos, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, this uh, tank is kind of over, like overlooked uh, the way I feel. I really think this tank has a lot of potential if used correctly. Um, not. It's a very good support sniping tank destroyer, and when it's in kind of a clutch moment it can do its job and do its job well it may not have the biggest like speed in the world may not have the biggest gun because the Su-100 is a thing Su-101 Su Y is a thing but this is a, this is one of those tanks where it looks mediocre or it doesn't look like it's it doesn't look appealing because it kind of just looks like a like it looks like an upside down refrigerator attached to a engine that has a gun poking out of it. It looks ugly is what I'm trying to say. And the gun the name of it doesn't really help either dick or max, but you know, you can dick them to the max. You can give them the old dick. That's what I say when I play it sometimes. Like I'll just be like, man, I'm gonna give that tape type T thirty four the dick. You know. But you know, what I'm getting ready to show you isn't might not be the best game in the world. I know it's short. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna obviously do more. Um, this is just kind of a short video to let you guys know that this is a tank. Uh, I needed to make a video to show you where, tell you where I've been, the, and uh, the reason why I haven't been uploading videos often uh, is because I've been really busy. I'm busy for the more than I have been before, and um, then I will hopefully be doing it more soon and I have some hilarious recordings of uh, five man platoons from a few weeks ago and one of my friends getting one shotted in front of everybody and some more games people getting one shot it's just it's not the fact that they're getting one shot it's the fact of what was happening when they got one shotted it just makes it hilarious um, you know and it was my friends too, it was Stealth and some other guys because there was everybody going to Lakeville and we're getting shot at and the artillery, not artillery, but the Death Star immediately aims for Stealth and one shots him, it was hilarious because we were like, man what if it totally misses us and as soon as I say that it hits him right in the side of the turret but um, yeah, you see the reload on this thing is very fast, well not very fast but pretty fast for the gun it has. I really think that this uh, little vacuum cleaner of doom would be better with preferential matchmaking, but it doesn't really need it. I don't see, uh, there's not many tanks in this game that have preferential matchmaking that need it, but I do like how premium tanks have it, because, I mean, kind of counter what I said, but I can see why some tanks have it, like the Super Persian. I do like how that tank has it, but this one doesn't always need it. Now, right here I thought that I was going to die, but it didn't. Now, you can never be too careful in this, because there's one thing you don't want is a bunch of holes in your Dicker Max. I don't know about you, but I really do not need a bunch of holes in the front of my uh, little Dicker. Anyways, this tank is, um, as you can see here in a minute, there's a Su-100 that really wants me, but he, I'm not going to let him get it. I'm not going to let him get the good old dick, because um, he keeps popping up, and he doesn't have gun depression. That is one thing that this tank excels in, because it's, um, I was going to make a, uh, a ding-dong joke there, but I can't really think one off the top of my head, because um, it's late. 
but you know, I think I've made enough. And I bounce off the gun man. See now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep the rock in between him, me and him, and I'm trying to keep the bush as a uh, like cover and concealment. Uh, well, conceal myself when I'm shooting, like right there, and then I back up. Now, if you're 15 meters or more behind a bush when you shoot, you'll never get spotted. Now, what I did um, on accident was I kind of almost give him a shot into me, but he doesn't have the gun pressure. I thought he did, but he doesn't. To hit me now, you do not want to get hit by his gun because his gun has 390 alpha only have 300. His gun is a lot more inaccurate and has a lot longer reload. I can take my chances against him. This, um, as you see, this game isn't going to last much longer. And I kind of shot with nerves. As you see right there, I did not get detected. I don't know if it was because I'm pretty sure I'm 15 meters behind or, or close enough. But, um, either he wasn't he was already under the hill when I shot or something, but I didn't get detected right there, so he doesn't know that I'm moving. I figured I got taken up and blown up, but I need to get out of there because he knows. Now I try to get up. Now I notice that there's only four tanks on the other team. KB-2, Jack Panzer, C-100, and Burt. Now, okay, I'm back. this isn't, like I said, the best game in the world, but this is kind of showing you because I needed, no. I wanted to make a video and I might as well make it on a premium tank that okay. not a lot of people have and you can see I'm texting and driving and running as a rock. That is why it's a law, ladies and gentlemen. No, I think he's gonna come up, but he doesn't. And I'm not paying attention, but he's actually detected and he's over there. You're getting ready to see the uh accuracy and a kind of a lag with the game. I'm trying to figure out who he is and I keep picking on the ram too. Alright. I need to give him the get off dick right in the rear end. Got him. 303. Fair enough. Now we move on to getting behind the Jack Panther 4, which I still thought was on the hill. And Bert happens to be up there, and I break Bert's I break Bert's ankles with this thing as slow as it is. Um, they ask you wonder why. I would have, I wouldn't have ever been able to make a game like this in this tank because one, the S Y is a little bit bigger than this and it has a bit longer of a reload. Now, the S Y is a very good tank, but the problem is, is that it needs room. It needs a lot of room. It cannot be right up on somebody because the armor is kind of crap. It can bounce shots, but it's not, not as good as you know. AT. But you know what I'm saying. It has big has a big gun. It has one of those it has the you can't shoot me because you're dead armor. Because if you load the premium rounds you're rolling for five hundred and ten on average, but that's another review for another day. Now he's already made it, the uh, Jack Panzer's already made it around. Oh, he's yeah. gonna try to get on the left side and uh, come in that oh, way. Sorry, I didn't have my, like, I didn't have my earpiece in all oh, I'm pretty oh. sure he doesn't know where I'm at. Oh, it's cool. Now, I don't know where Bert is, but I'm getting up here so I can shoot down on the Jack Panzer. And you're gonna ready to see what I meant by the gun will troll you when you least expect it. The 300 alpha and stuff, 300 oh, yeah. alpha damage when I get right up here. As you see, the <laughs> engine's kind of truck. slow, like, but what it gets the job done. I used it for, it was fine. And Bert is right there. He only has 280 health. There's no doubt in my mind that I'll kill him. Off a beat drop hmm. song. Maybe not. And I figured he was going to get me. Now I break Bert's ankles. I get him in the chokehold. He breaks loose. And I get him. Now here comes a clutch shot. Me being detected. I figured he was going to get me. Not all the way aimed. Got him. 
That's how you end the game right there. Now, if you guys want to see more gameplay of the Digger Max, more stuff you want to see, the, of course, T49. I wanted to do a little bit more games in the T49 before I done more. 76,000 tier 6. Doesn't seem that bad. 2,500 damage. Not that bad. Tier 6 game, although, should have got some more games. But, you know, I needed to make a video to let you guys know that I'm not dead. And I'm still here, but I'm busy. But anyways, guys, see you later.